Over the years, we have shown you a lot of different computer-based tax preparation options. Now, they all work roughly the same way. Some of them are web-based and others are software packages that you install on either your PC or your Mac. But all of them work very closely with the Canada Revenue Agency or the CRA to ensure that all the tax rules are followed and that an accurate return is prepared. Now, regardless of how you prepare your return, you need to know about NetFile. It allows individuals to file their own personal income tax and benefit return directly to the CRA using the internet. NetFile is not meant for tax professionals to transmit on behalf of their clients, but it's for individuals like you and me to self-file our return. So let me show you how the whole process works. To use NetFile, taxpayers first need to prepare their tax return using NetFile certified software. And you'll find a link to those different software applications right on the NetFile homepage at the Canada Revenue Agency. And we see here that there's Windows versions, there's web applications that you can use with either Windows or Macintosh, but you should make sure that you're using an appropriate web browser, and there's a Macintosh version as well. Now, completing your return using software is much easier than trying to do it on paper, at least I think it is. So once you've completed your return using one of the programs that I just showed you, then you need to follow that software's instructions to save your return in a special format for NetFile, which is going to create something called a .tax file. Now, In the past, some taxpayers have had difficulties finding this file on their computer. But this year, with the cooperation of the software developers, the CRA has developed a .tax demo. So taxpayers simply need to choose the link to the product that they use to prepare their tax return in order to view the demonstration on how to find their file. Here are the links to all those instructional demonstrations. Then once you've finished your return and you're ready to file it, from the left-hand menu, you find the Ready to File selection. You click on that, and then you simply read and agree to the terms and conditions. Now this is going to bring you in to the net file transmission page. So here we enter our social insurance number, our date of birth, and our access code. Then we attach the .tax file that we see right here. The four-digit access code that enables taxpayers to use NetFile is included in the T1 personal income tax package that you received in the mail. Now, if you've not received an access code or if you've misplaced it, then you can get one using the CRA's access code online service or by calling the e-service help desk. To use the access code online service, taxpayers are going to be asked to provide information such as their social insurance number, their date of birth, and the amount that they entered in line 150 from their previous year's tax return. Now the access code along with your date of birth and social insurance number is your electronic signature. It's important to note that you can only transmit one return with one access code. The access code is confidential and should not be given to anyone including your family members. Now although you have to purchase tax preparation software or a license for a web application that the CRA is certified, the NetFile service itself is free. And support for the NetFile service is available online via the help feature, which we find in the left-hand menu down near the bottom, is the help feature that you can go through and find answers to any questions. And the frequently asked questions area answers all those frequently asked questions. The support is also available by calling the eServices help desk. I can't emphasize strongly enough what a good idea this is. We all save by using this service. There are simply no downsides. NetFile is secure, it's confidential, you get faster refunds, they come in as little as eight business days. It offers greater accuracy because with the use of the software there's no need to rekey the information, so there's less chance of errors. It's even environmentally responsible because there's no paper return to print and mail. And there's no receipts to send in unless the CRA asks for them at a later date. And finally, you receive immediate confirmation that the CRA has received your tax return so you don't have to wonder if they've received it in the mail or not. Plus, if you're getting a refund, it's going to be on its way to you faster. And really, is there anything better than fast cash? If you've used NetFile in the past, good on you. If not, you should make this the year you do. Want more information on the products we've covered on today's show? Then check out our new website. We've got podcasts, streaming video, and a searchable database going all the way back to our first season. Check it out at Dottotech.com. That's all the time we have for the show today. I've got to admit, this latest version of the Epson Scan software was a treat to use. I have total confidence in the automatic function of the scanning software, and that is saying something. 
being able to scan in a snapshot, or better yet, a slide, with enough resolution to print off a huge enlargement is way cool. Add the fact that the prints are archival quality and will resist fading for a few centuries, and you got a home solution that'll make professionals green with envy. You're going to be thrilled with the results. And did I mention? The prints look great. In fact, I'm going to be keeping this little guy busy for the next little while with a ton of memory capturing projects I have on the go. If you want to find out anything more about anything we've covered on the show, drop by our website. We've got details on all the products we cover on the show, as well as streaming repeats of past episodes. We'll see you next time, right here on Dotto Tech.